of wolves and gentlemen. Shigure is chiding himself to, for overlooking the obvious answer. Who oh, also leave me? The Confederacy has every reason to note the comings and goings of even the smallest vessels in the Ruby Sea. Their very survival rests on their ability to extract payments for safe passage, the so-called Ruby Tide. Sakazuki is where we must go. Any traveler who does not wish to be raided and relieve their possessions must journey there first and make the necessary overtures. Okay. Searching for a bandit on a boat, you say? As far as I am concerned, I, the only bandits are those who refuse to pay the tithe. Like that one fellow I spotted not long ago. Why didn't I stop him, you ask? Because he was dead. I standing motionless in the skiff, paying no heed to the waves of the waters, a dead man drifting. Is it w one thing to threaten a living man? But what could I possibly do to stop a dead one? Nothing. That is what. So I took the only reasonable course of action. I let him be. I am not one to consort with the dead, but if you are, by all means, follow the man to the Isle of Beko. I'll remain here and do my best to forget what I saw. <laughs> oh, okay. If you squint just the right way, it looks like it's got ears, or is it horns? What are you talking about? Who are you looking at? Hmm. Hmm, yeah. A dead man in a boat. Bound for Isle of Beko. That's the stupidest thing I've ever... Unless... Aha. Don't you see? He mistook the Yorzean gentleman for a corpse. The boat belonged to none other than the Kugani wolf burglar. Cora, what luck. Eliasson did mention that he... That we could pay the tithe by way of bringing a trespasser to justice. And I do believe this qualifies. The hunt is on to the Isle of Beko. And that thrice damned wolf. Hark, over there a wolf. Or at least someone what's got big ears and a long fluffy tail. Ah, we've got him now. Oh god, that is not a lupin. That's some asshole in a wolf costume. So it seems the wolf burglar was caught by the very people that were trying to catch him. Fucking A. Come here, friend. This is no wolf burglar. This is a man dead who ha yet moves. A restless spirit bound to this mortal coral by, by burdens of the soul. So that ass? So that guy was right. That guy was dead. And I know who that guy is. I beg your pardon, good sir, but my soul carries no such burdens. Indeed, in death I've found rather more liberation than I had in life. More purpose and meaning, and brotherhood. Wait a minute, you're one of the gentle dead men. But what are you doing so far from Yerzi and the others? As I live and breathe, even in the furthest reaches, I find myself reunited with Master Zombie Brand's compatriot. I too must confess some curiosity as to how you came to this place, but since you asked first. As believable as it may sound, we heard rumors of an island deep in the Siren Song Sea that may be home to a host of undead individuals, none like myself. Really? Ours being a rather lonely existence, we resolved to dispatch an emissary to the isle, myself being the logical choice once again. Ah, truly, well that will explain why the myriad skeletons we found were devoid of Unlife, as it were. That said, even if they were as disagreeable a lot as you claim, I would, I should thank you for to, uh, I should thank you to stop killing every lesson that you encounter in your travels. Anyway, having failed in my mission, I was at a loss for what to do next. The island was abandoned, and Yorzir was ever so far away. Just then, I felt a familiar t tingling in my rotten flesh. I, there was no denying it. I had felt the pull of our leader, Master Zombie Brand. His aether called to me, and I was duty-bound to answer, so I followed the trail and it led me to this place. Why are you dressed as a wolf? Cora, that's no coincidence. The inspector and the burglars that stole him must be somewhere here on the island. Good sir, do you still feel the inspector, Hildebrand, calling to you even now? Can you lead us to him? 
As surely as I can crack open a hapless merchant's head and feast on the goo inside before you can say go. Follow me. By the way, you've been meaning to ask, what's with the wolfish getup? It's not the sort of thing a gentle dead man usually wears, though it's quite fetching, I've got to say. It warms my dead heart to hear you say so. I received it as a gift from a traveling artist. When I explained to him how difficult it was to converse with the common man, he fashioned it for me. Believing it would serve to soften my otherwise terrifying features, and so it has. But enough talk, Master Zabibran needs us. Nothing I have heard even make <laughs> Nothing I have heard makes even the slightest bit of sense to me, but no matter. If this misshapen undead wolfman can leave us to the thief, I shall trust him wholly. Welcome to Hildebrand Quest. Are all the undead in the West so gentlemanly? I wish. I think it's a wonderful... I think it look for him, don't you? Uh, yes, yes, Master Zombie Brand is close. We are nearly upon him. And the wolf burglar at long last will bring the bastard to justice. Wolf burglar, you have nowhere left to run surrender. Yeah, so they finally caught up to me. Oh, it looks exactly like my sketch. Your campaign of thievery comes to an end this day. I this day the Bak Bakufu will have their man. Or as it say the Lupin. Now he's on the run! <laughs> the inspector is still not snapped out of it, which means it's time for a triple serving of Nash's Delight, Dango style. Shut up, you stupid statue. Burger me, are those bombs? Idiot, get rid of him, get rid of him before you kill us both! <laughs> nice. Griffin, Nashu, anyone? I suppose we had to save them. Forget the Hildebrand, that's our chance to cast <laughs> Uh, shit, this is a. Uh, damn. Hmm. I suppose we ought to save the inspector. I mean, you guys could handle it. I'm not the only person in the world. Uh, let me get the guy. about the inspector. He survived a trip back down from Dalamud, so there is nothing. Let's get the wolf burger instead. <laughs> oh, well, bye. Uh, good job. I told you before, wolf burglar. You have nowhere left to run. Fall, on the other hand. And fall it is.
Never thought I'd come this close to getting caught. Suppose it's my own fault for trying to nick a hefty prize like a statue. But if the statue ain't even a statue, then there's no reason for me to stick around, is there? Better luck next time, thief takers. I say, Griffin, I have come to expect such cold calculating behavior from there. Hey, hey, don't you waste my sympathy. Hooray, right, Inspector Hildebrand is back. Nothing like a brush would certain death to get you back in the game. Am I right, Inspector? What manner of sorcery is this? The yours in, gentlemen. The statue stands before me, speaking and just gesticulating as if a leading, living, breathing being. I trust I need to remind you I am too capable of such motions, despite neither living or nor breathing. But more to the point, Mr. Zombiebrand is no statue. Quite right, he's an agent of inquiry. Inspector Extraordinaire. Good sir, by your garb I gather you are a samurai. Am I, am I then correct in assuming we are in the Far East? As I wake from gentle slumber and find myself in a foreign land, who should I be greeted by but a Far Eastern fan? What ho, what is this? Already my keen investigator sense has alerted me to the presence of a petitioner in need. I must away for honor and justice in a hard boiled egg. Master Zombie Brand looks to be his old self again. Wonderful, simply wonderful. It is enough to bring a tear to this gentle dead man's eye. Or it would be if it if I weren't, you know. But much as I would love to join you in your adventures, I must return to my brothers. I pray you watch over and keep our undead overlord safe. So in yours, yeah. A man may be an inspector extraordinaire as well as zombie overlord. Truly, yours is a land of many mysteries and strange customs I dare say I will never comprehend. Don't worry, we don't get it either. While I regret that we were unable to apprehend the wolf burglar, I am glad that this chase has seen you reunited with your comrade. Come, let us follow him and see where his keen sense leads. Wayward Kikern. Friend in need of a friend, are you, friend? Oh my god, don't tell me you know that Kikurin that was gonna get eaten by the guy. Another rat man like the one they sold at the auction? Looks like Inspector Hildebrand found a Kikurin. I hope that's how you pronounce it, I honestly don't. Did I not tell you I'd caught the son of a case? And here it is, I give you the case of the kidnapped Kikurin. Simply put, this adorable little fellow's dearest friend was abducted by a dastardly fellow in the nearby city of Kagani. We sail on ships, says sailors, for East Elnard Trading Company docked at Kagani docks to unload goodly goods. When goodly merchant comes and offers tasty feast for me and my friendly friend. Arakami, did the rat man just speak? Yes. Kikurin, not rat man, rude man. Why does no one here know Kikurin? Always demon demon with lucky flesh. Hmm. We go with Goodly Merchant, all alone. Many turns left. Left, right, left. Very confusing. Then bad men grab friendly friend. Put gag in mouth and bag on head. I fight back and run and they run too and then I jump into water. It would seem that the currents carried him to the shores of this island. But I have yet to ascertain the motive of why anyone would want to kidnap a hapless Kikurin sailor. Because they do not know or do not care that he is a Kikurin. He passes for a rat man of Far Eastern folklore, the flesh of which some believe bestows everlasting life. Hmm. An Eurasian sailor with, with most unusual features, incredible, albeit hideous statue of Eurasian, make that was in truth a man. I dare say we have already met our goodly merchant. 
We must return to Gugane and confront this criminal at once. He may have abducted others from faraway lands to sell at auction. The fiend. At the very least, we know he's sold this Kikurin's friendly friend. We got to save him too. Right, you are, my lady. We shall all see the wicked punished and innocent set free. Yes, yeah, so, so I was just about to say that. Well said, you. Kami struck me down. The Eurasian gentleman is alive. Hearken to me, merchant. Your reckoning is at hand. But a crime of kidnapping a current sailor and selling him to slavery, I hereby place you under arrest. Hmm. I should hope I would remember doing something so reprehensible as that. But more importantly, who are you to level such accusations, much less place me under arrest? You're not of the sex, say Gumi, a common ronin, are you not? A common ronin come from the countryside looking for work. Work I so generously provided when I hired you to guard my auction. An auction you failed to defend against a thief who stole a priceless piece. I say what audacity. That self same piece stands before you with the Kukurn who escaped your kidnapping attempt as incontrovertible proof of your misdeeds. I, Hildebrand, Agent Inquiry, Inspector Extraordinary, <laughs> uh, I've defeated you. The least you could do is demonstrate dignity and defeat. The truth is plain, there is no denying it. And yet I do, Inspector Wizard. Whatever authority you may possess in yours is not recognized here. Only the six Sugumi can compel answers and arrest criminals. Blah, 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 blah. Asshole. And with that, I bid you good day. You need not answer to them, but you will answer to me. We've had our eye on you for some time, my friend. But alas, all good things must come to an end. The wolf burglar's meddling merely delayed the inevitable. We'll have all the proof we need. Now do yourself a favor and come quietly, or don't, and do me a favor. Shiguri, long to the efforts of you and yours, we can finally bring this charlatan to justice. For that, you have my deepest thanks. So thank you, sir. That you would favor me with such kind words is a great honor. I can only hope this goes some way towards. However... That you failed to inform the six Gumi of the wolf burglar's crime despite being present and instead pursued the thief on your own is inexcusable. I cannot in good conscience admit you to the six Gumi at this time. Such reckless disregard for thirst and thirst for personal glory are traits I will not suffer in our samurai. Oh wow, that's a bigger. A thousand thanks to you for saving my friend, saving friendly friend. Where and where we will be next time. No more following goodly merchants into dark alleys. I owe an apology. Like the merchant said, I am no more than a common ronin. My pursuit of the wolf burglar has been from the very beginning independent of the Sexagumi or any other authority. I came to Kugane to join the Sexagumi, but I was judged to be unworthy. Unable to find gainful employment as a samurai elsewhere, I struggled to make ends meet. And then, when I was about to renounce my dream and return to my village, I learned of a notorious thief. A thief that targeted only the most wealthy and influential. A thief that might bring to justice and thereby earn the approval of the Sexagumi. Say no more, my good samurai. Your, earn your earnest nature and passion for the law has won me over. I swear to you here and now, I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector and 
shall help you scour all creation, from the deepest pit of the seven hells to the very pinnacle of the heavens. For the Kugane Wolf Burglar, we shall start right this instant. Man, I heard that phrase so many times. I am still not quite sure what to make of that man, but I suppose I should be grateful for the help. Well, obviously my character is so used to it by now. Griffin, was it? I should thank you for joining me in this endeavor, perhaps more so than the others. Their help is of questionable benefit, whereas yours seems rather more reliable. The wolf burglar is not to be underestimated. He is a cunning, clever foe, as evidenced by the way he escaped. Sheer passion and determination will not be enough to catch him. Which is to say that while I value the assistance of the inspector and his assistant, I believe cooler heads will prevail in the end. To wit, yours and mine. I too may be prone to fits of passion, but I should like to think there is nothing compared to that of yours and gentlemen. The blade mislaid. <laughs> the fucking artwork there. Oh man, do I wanna do it? In the eye of the Hingan. Yeah, I'll let this wait for a while. A bit late. Eh, I've been amused. I mean, it's it's okay. I think you just have to get in the right mood for it. Alright, anyway, thanks for watching.